Hey everybody, well another day and another set of Bronco photos has leaked. Now we have seen leaked images of the Bronco Sport, the four-door Bronco, and now we have even more images of that four-door and one super cool image which shows this thing without its roof on. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive right in and let me show you everything we know up to this point about the upcoming Bronco. If you want to get all the details on the Bronco Sport, go take a look at the video we put up on TFL Now, where we really dove into that small baby Bronco. That's going to be something like a Jeep Renegade Compass competitor, something along those lines. Whereas the full-size Bronco, that thing looks like it's going to be a beast. We've also covered the leaks on the Bronco over on TFL Car, but the most up-to-date images are only right here on TFL Off-Road, so let's look at them now. First, take a look at this image right here. This was the first Bronco leak that we got. And honestly, guys, just from this one picture, I think the Bronco is looking pretty cool. It really has great squared off haunches. Uh, retro styling is in full effect for sure. But then on the front end with those headlights and that grill really kind of makes it look futuristic and up to date. Uh, personally, I think Ford nailed the styling. But now here, take a look at this thing from a different angle from behind. This brand new leaked image shows the rear end of the Bronco and it looks like it's undergoing some emissions testing maybe. Um, but what we do see that's interesting is of course the full size spare tire. You can see the roof which looks really reminiscent of the Jeep Wrangler, especially considering you can see the glass there is hinged at the top. So there's no doubt that Ford went ahead and took a lot of notes from the Wrangler and it looks like the Bronco will be a pretty direct competitor. Now this Bronco model is definitely not the hardcore off-road model. This looks maybe something more like a Jeep Wrangler Overland competitor, something that's gonna be more focused towards on-road performance. Looking at the front three quarter angle that leaked here, we can see a lot of different details. First of all, are those big plastic hood hoops. Now I'm not sure if they're supposed to be tie downs or if they're supposed to somehow support the windshield or maybe they're part of the hood latch system. Either way, that's certainly an interesting design. Uh, and then you have the roof rack. Now the roof rack pictured here is probably an accessory. It looks like it is removable because we also know that you can remove the Bronco's hood and the doors. If you take a look at the mirrors you can see they're mounted sort of right on the windshield right on the a pillar not on the door and that means very likely that the doors will be removable and how do we know the roof is going to be removable well look closer in the background Yes, this is our first time seeing a Bronco with its roof actually off. And once again, guys, I have to say it, very reminiscent of the Jeep Wrangler. It uh, has that cage, that exposed roll cage, which looks a lot like a Jeep. But besides that, it does look amazing. I'm super excited to see that the roof is coming off on the Bronco and that it's something that's finally gonna give the Wrangler a true competitor on the market. So everything that we've seen so far, of course, is pretty much confirmed, but there's still lots of speculation on the Bronco because we still don't know anything about pricing or powertrains. Now, the number one guess right now is that the 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost from the Ranger, along with its 10 speed automatic, will do service here in the Bronco. Of course, if Ford really wants to give this thing some power, they could step up to something like the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost in the F-150 or maybe get really crazy and go three and a half liter EcoBoost V6. I'm not sure that big EcoBoost is gonna happen, but you can pretty much guarantee there's gonna be turbocharged power in the Bronco. So far, based on these leaks, it definitely looks like Ford did not phone in the Bronco. This thing is coming to really take the fight to the Jeep Wrangler. And I actually kind of like the strategy of bringing out Bronco and Bronco Sport, because once again, like Jeep, that really cool off-road Bronco with the big tires sitting on a lift, that's gonna bring people into the dealership but a lot of them are gonna end up leaving with Bronco Sports, or at least I'm sure that is what Ford is hoping for. So guys, the Bronco is pretty much already out of the bag because of all these leaks, but it's supposed to officially debut later this month, so make sure you keep on coming back to the channel. Uh, next week, I'm actually going down to Dearborn and I'll be doing a deep dive on the Bronco. The information I'm getting will be embargoed, so I can't share it right away, but needless to say, 
Wednesday, we will be covering this thing in depth. So make sure you keep on coming back to TFL across all the channels. Uh, we're gonna be really focused on this new Bronco. So go below, leave a comment, hit like, hit subscribe, and then come back to the channel for the latest news, views, and real world Bronco reviews. See ya.